Hello again. I've probably mentioned before that I subscribe to New Scientist magazine so that I can keep up to date with new developments in science and technology. An article this week caught my attention because it tied in with something which is often dismissed out of hand as a crazy conspiracy theory. This is the piece in question, which you can see here. The heading reads as follows. Day flights are better for the climate. Aircraft contrails seem to have a net cooling effect in the daytime because they reflect sunlight. This is intriguing because, of course, there are persistent and increasingly frequent rumours circulating primarily on the internet that aircraft are indeed being used in this way to mitigate the supposed rise in worldwide temperatures. This um, idea, which is known as geoengineering, is an offshoot from the uh, chemtrails theory. The idea of chemtrails, uh, I guess so many viewers have heard of this. The chemtrails idea is essentially that aircraft in many parts of the world, including Britain, discharge chemicals from high altitudes for various purposes. Sometimes these are said to be poisons which will find their way into the food chain and either kill us directly or reduce fertility. And it's also suggested that other substances might be drugs which we will ingest. In recent years, <coughs> the white trails which airliners leave in the sky are said to be involved in um, another way. Sometimes people say that the white trails we see are actually substances being dropped. But it's also been suggested lately that they're in part of a systematic project to alter the weather. Comparisons have been drawn with so-called cloud seeding, which can sometimes lead to rain. The chief purpose, though, is sometimes said to be to make the sky cloudy so that the earth grows cooler as sunlight is reflected from the trails. It's said that clear blue skies are rarer in Britain than they once were because aircraft now leave more and more visible trails which have the effect of making the sky hazy and blocking out the sun. Some of these claims rely upon uh, fallible human memory, of course, with people saying that they can see the difference between vapour trails today and those which used to be seen, say, 50, 60 years ago. Modern trails are said to be of a different intensity and there are more of them than there used to be. Condensation trails, or contrails as they are known for short, are left both by the waste products of jet engines and also from the wingtips of aircraft. Depending on how high the aeroplane is flying and other factors, they can be made of droplets of water or crystals of ice. Some contrails linger for a very long time, for instance if they're made by an aircraft moving through very humid air. The article in New Scientist says that contrails made during the day, ones which do not last all that long, can reflect sunlight and so on the whole contribute to cooling the atmosphere rather than warming it. It is said that if aeroplanes only flew during the day and avoided very humid air, then this would be more beneficial to the climate than night flights. This is the first time that I've seen respectable mainstream uh, sources talk in these terms and hint that there may be a connection between contrails and climate change and discuss the way in which this phenomenon could be exploited. I am bound to say though that for other theories that I've seen expressed, such as that contrails are deliberately designed to make the sky cloudy, I'm dubious. There are certainly a lot more commercial aeroplanes flying now than there were 50 or 60 years ago so there are bound to be more contrails and also most of the aeroplanes now are jet planes these do tend to produce more noticeable contrails than the old propeller driven ones with those the contrails were usually fairly faint ones from the wingtips
I shall be curious to see if anything more is said about the idea of restricting flights to the daytime in order to mitigate the effects of climate change. As I say, this is the uh, first time I've seen this idea actually being mentioned in mainstream uh, ways.